Welcome to tonight's episode of Beyond Focus TV. I'm your host, Lydia Patel. And as always, I have a very special guest for you, Charlene Brown, who's the founder of Brooklyn Custom Designs. She's with me for the next 30 minutes, so stay with us. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. Beyond Focus TV allows you to discuss contemporary topics affecting the Caribbean people on both a national and local level. The show features informed guests who offer insight, debate, and evaluate various issues. Beyond Focus TV builds on the station's mission to provide useful information to the Caribbean people in New York and abroad. Beyond Focus TV, where our viewing audience can get educated, informed, and empowered. Welcome back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. I'm your host, Lydia Patel, sitting down here with Charlene Brown, who's the founder of Brooklyn Custom Designs. She's going to tell us what it's all about. Charlene, welcome to Beyond Focus TV. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Lydia. It's great to have you here. I love to see women who are doing fantastic things, owning their own business, doing a movement, because Brooklyn Custom Designs definitely is a movement. Thank you. Thank a lot you. of great things. We Before we even get to all the the hype and everything that we see now. Let's mm -hmm. take it back a little bit. Okay. Let's take it back to how this all got started. Tell us about you. Well, I came from Miami in, in beautiful New York for college. And while I'm working as a, a hard nine to five person, I just decided that it wasn't for me just to wake up and always be focused on someone else's agenda. Mm -hmm. So I decided that I needed to focus on what I really love to do, which was web design. And mm -hmm. Brooklyn Custom Design was born. That's really, really good. Um, so you decided to start the business. How long ago did you start it? It is almost a year now that it started. Okay. Yes. So still a relatively new business. Yes. Um, but I'm sure there was a lot of planning before that, um, before you actually launch anything, you know, with a lot of people have their idea definitely years before but it just actually doesn't take a while before it, it, it manifest correct um so the way the business is now compared to how you conceptualized it how far was the reality from the paper design <laughs> uh it was not too far off mm -hmm. i realized that um it was going to be easier than i actually had in my mind i had that i would be working long strenuous hours and just on constant phone calls with my clients but instead it was easier that I would work less <coughs> hours but because I did the groundwork ahead of time with my clients I was able to just lay everything out and work at my own pace but still meet their deadlines and their meet their needs that they needed from me. Now, who are some of your clients? What is a typical client of Brooklyn Custom Designs? A typical client is a small business owner, usually a micro business owner, I like to call them. And they only have themselves or up to four other people working with them. Yeah, it's pretty micro. Yes. <laughs> and they're usually on a tight budget, but they understand the importance that of investing in themselves and their business. And they recruit me to help them design a website or a logo or something that would help propel their brand mm -hmm. into the the world of online business that is really good that is actually pretty good because in this digital age you have to have some sort of web presence oh yes there would be over four billion online businesses by mid-year this year and what defines an online business for our viewers? We, we just want to break everything down. Is an online business strictly a business that does not have a physical address or a physical establishment? Well, no, it's um, a mix. It could be a mixture of the mm -hmm. both. But most people do realize that it can just be online, no physical address, no um, products, no inventory that they have to really worry about. Uh, their distributors would be all online with them, but there's still a structure of that physical business that you normally wouldn't expect from an online business. Mm -hmm. But in order for it to succeed, it still needs a structure. And most of the time that would come from a traditional business structure. Now, what do you like best about owning and operating your own business? Uh, I see a smile waking instantly. Up. <laughs> I saw a smile. <laughs> but aside from logging on and waking up when I feel like it, it's the satisfaction of seeing that connection with my clients and knowing that I hit the nail on the head. I did what they 
what they were expecting or I might have exceeded their expectations. I love, I love seeing that with my clients. Now, as for you, I know you're not just a one-man operation. Um, you do have different components because we'll get into the services that you offer in a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, how many people help make up Brooklyn Custom Designs? Oh, it could range from either just myself, depending on what I need to do, or it can go up to 20 people. And we all just work in a, a tangent of how we need to get a certain project completed. And so you outsource people? Yes. Oh, that's great. So you actually have that ability to, which could be good, you guys, if you're graphics people, Photoshop, you may want to pay attention to this. <laughs> she outsources people, everybody. Yes, these are little, definitely. These are little things that people don't pick up on. I'm sending you a hint. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but it could be good because a lot of different people um, are well-versed in certain things and, and independent projects. When you bring somebody on board to do a project, mm -hmm because there's so many different aspects of a project it's almost impossible um when you're doing branding because i'm in a similar field as well and i understand that there's graphic people who do the logos oh, there's yes. someone to do seo and social media there's someone to do strategic planning and project management so. definitely definitely and it's always good to be able to reach out to a team because someone else might have a better <coughs> idea or a better way of doing something that I might not have thought of or my other um, compadres might not have thought of. So it's always good to have that milch of different people just to mm -hmm. you know, get that fresh idea. What has been the most difficult part of the last year? The most difficult part was first meeting the new clients that I was not sure of how to reach out to them or where to go and who would need me. Hmm. So I had to step back at one point and just decide, okay, exactly what is it that I want to um, present to my clients and, and which client who would best benefit from me. Mm -hmm. And I realized that a lot of times it might be the, the client that might already have a website or already have something going, but they just need someone else to just come in and give that extra tweak or give that little expertise where they were missing out on something. That's good. And um, when you get people on board, you do a consultation. Yes. I'm sure people come in with a whole spew of ideas that they have. And is it kind of hard for you to kind of break it down and tell them that may not be the best thing for your business? That's also um, another challenge when it comes to working with uh, clients who very headstrong. <laughs> headstrong and sometimes may not be tech savvy. So they, they see certain things or they may have went to another website and said, oh, I want that. But they did not realize the strategy that that other company might, might have needed to put together in order to bring that dream alive. So it may not be in their realm. Absolutely. So it's hard sometimes to to tell them, well, I can kind of bring you there, but let's, you know, scale it back a little bit or let's bring it up a notch. And it's always depending on how they feel, like if they're comfortable with bringing it up a notch or not. And if they're also um, understanding that they just can't take it to that level. Of something. They may not even be ready yet. They may not even be at that point to Correct. have a multi-platform website. Correct. I mean, you still on WordPress, <laughs> but... <laughs> But even WordPress is very um, amazing if you just know how to use WordPress because WordPress is so flexible, but a lot of people don't know how to just get in there and get behind those scenes and just make it happen. Sometimes you're on a, like a WordPress.com and you're limited and they don't realize that. Well, that thought because when we come back after the break, <laughs> okay. we are going to get into WordPress because a lot of you do have that platform. So I wanted to cover that with Charlene. Stay with us. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. We'll be right back.
Hi, my name is Stephanie Miles, and I am Miss Caribbean United States 2013, and you're watching Beyond Focus TV. Welcome back. You're watching Beyond Focus TV. I'm Lydia Patel, sitting down here with Charlene Brown, the founder of Brooklyn Custom Designs. If you're now tuning in and you missed the first segment, rather, you're definitely going to want to catch this one because a lot of information Charlene has been giving us. Charlene, in the last segment, we covered just about pretty much in a nutshell what Brooklyn Custom Designs does in terms of the branding, getting really to take your business to a whole different level, which is important, visibility, all the reasons why. We were talking about WordPress. So let's kind of get back into that a little bit. Um, some people don't really fully understand WordPress. They look at it as just a basic platform, but you can do a lot with WordPress. Yes, you can. WordPress can be used to sell items. WordPress can be used to um, present um, music, videos. As it's not as limited as most might feel, but sometimes it's on the server end. You may not have the powerful um, service or programs that you need, mm -hmm. and you need to just um, e reevaluate what your, what your uh, actual needs are. And WordPress is a very good place to start. There are other platforms, but that's a very good place for um, owners who want a little bit of their own um, input and want to be able to also blog and do extras on their own, WordPress is a good place to start and get that understanding before you probably go to another platform. Now, what about people who are coming in for the first time, they've opened a business a few months, they decide, okay, I have my own Facebook, I have a little Twitter, I've got an Instagram, and I'm not getting followers. I'm not getting those likes, I'm not getting any of those things. I think at that point, that's where you would come in. You would seek the services of a consulting company, a branding agency, Correct. to help maybe rebrand you or take your current idea and just get exposure. How do you take a brand and really get exposure? What would be the necessary steps? Walk us through that. Well, one of the main steps is for that brand to understand who their customers are and what is it that those customers want. Where are those customers? Mm -hmm. And just like how I had to step back, a lot of small business owners need to do the same and realize maybe Twitter's not where your customers are. Maybe they're mainly on Facebook or perhaps Facebook is not where they are and they're on Instagram or Pinterest or Pinterest, Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> so when you evaluate where you need to be, then you can better put your, your energy and your focus on that platform and and have a better um, strategy of marketing and how you should go about it. Some people think they just connect their credit card to Facebook and say, hey, here's $200, but they didn't realize that maybe you need to tweak your demographics. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should only show your products and your services at 2 o'clock in the afternoon or to 4 in the afternoon instead of all day. And maybe that's where the main people are coming in at. Or perhaps your clients are CEOs and they have 9 to 10 in the morning to look on Facebook and that's where you should be promoting your services that's very to interesting. them. That is interesting and you did touch upon the Facebook ads and a lot of people are getting a little more into that. We yeah. all see it boost your post, boost your page. Correct. What really defines that because I, you can go on and purchase mm -hmm. for as little as 5 or $10 for a campaign. Correct. Um, but then, like you said, they ask you, how many people are you looking to reach? Mm -hmm. And some people may not know what is the best thing to do. So when you sit down to offer consultation, this is where you would really get to find out what is your business, mm -hmm. who is your focus, correct? Correct. And one way that that can be um, accomplished is for the owner to first reach out to the current customers that they have and ask them, you know, how do you like our services? What is it that we could do different? Or how did you find us? Or, you know, those little surveys, per mm -hmm. se, actually lead to better understanding of how they move and then how your other clients, your future clients would move also.